Wayne Shackelford, the son of Carroll County sharecroppers, grew up in an industry he loved, agriculture. Through his early years, he was an active Carroll County 4-H and FFA member. Uh, whether he was commissioner of the Department of Transportation or a county agent, uh, he was all about helping people. And it was such a genuine um, response when you visited with him. Uh, you just knew that he was a friend. And I, I think uh, uh, no, everybody wants to be remembered that way, I think. After high school, Mr. Shackelford continued his education at Berry College. Following military service, he returned to the University of Georgia to complete coursework on his master's, then married the love of his life, Anna Nolan. Together, they had three children, two of which have pursued careers in agriculture and seven grandchildren. And I learned everything in the beginning was what I learned from him. And he was always so proud and um, whether we did good or whether we didn't do so good, but he, and, but he was also very competitive too. In July 1959, Wayne began his career in Extension. As an agent, he developed a strong livestock program of junior showmen and judging teams. Many of his judging teams were state winners, giving these teams the ability to attend national contests throughout the country. He didn't do it because he was, it was his job or because it was the role or the position he was in. He did it because he genuinely cared about the people, he genuinely cared about the kids, and he was interested in the field of agriculture and he wanted it to be better. As an agent, Mr. Shackelford still holds the record for taking the largest number of 4-H'ers to Rock Eagle for a week of summer camp. He was a very famous extension agent. To this day, the thing that he is most noted for is the way he filled up Rock Eagle 4-H Center with Gwinnett County 4-H'ers. At that time, he filled two full tribes, and it is said that he bought every rollaway bed they had in Gwinnett County so that he would have enough beds to house all of these 4-H'ers. In 1991, he became commissioner of the Georgia Department of Transportation. This career was marked by his work both on regional and national transportation policy development, as well as his guidance in providing mobility into the Georgia surrounding the 1996 Summer Olympic Games. 1992, uh, he came to Rock Eagle one day and Tom Rogers told him to get in the car with me and ride around the center and look at the uh, potholes on the center. And I drove a car around and uh, when we got back to the old tournament, uh, Wayne walked up to uh, Tom Rogers and said, uh, well, you need a patch job on these roads, but you're going to have to put new shocks on that car because that boy hit every pothole on this center. Mr. Shackelford brought a keen interest in customer service to the Georgia Department of Transportation that he developed in his days in the Cooperative Extension Service. Most people would think he was pretty humble. Sometimes my, grand, my kids would scratch their head when he, when he would drive onto a road that was being built and um, it said do not enter and he entered anyway. Uh, and that he said, but I'm the DOT commissioner. They, they didn't always think he was humble, but, but they got tickled at it and they laugh back at it now. He was instrumental in paving the roads at Rock Eagle 4-H Center, as well as building a bridge over I-75 near the Agri Center in Perry, Georgia. This allowed traffic to flow in and out of the south side of the Agri Center. Oh, there are so many reasons that Mr. Wayne Shackelford should be in the Agricultural Hall of Fame. I don't know how he did it, but he's had multiple successes in multiple different career roles. He was a superstar 4-H agent. He was a, had a wonderful career in extension. He also had a fabulous career um, as an Angus breeder and a farm manager. Then he moved into development and transportation and everything he did really turned to gold. But at the heart of it all and at the core of it all, he loved agriculture and he wanted to support agriculture. Throughout his lifetime, Mr. Shackelford received numerous honors, showed his love for his family beyond measure, and actively engaged as a member of his church and community. If Mr. Wayne Shackelford were with us tonight, uh, 
I think he would be so proud and honored. But he would also uh, give credit to his family. I'm sure he would credit his parents and his humble beginnings. Uh, I think he would uh, be so grateful to all the people uh, that would, are gathered here and to so many people that had gone before him that had helped him along the way. And he'd, he'd say a, a simple heartfelt thank you. And I think uh, all of us in the room, as well as particularly Georgia 4-H, would say a special thank you to him too. Congratulations to Wayne Shackelford, the 2017 inductee into the Georgia Agricultural Hall of Fame.